Hey everybody, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. Alright, so I think a few of you have been waiting for the final review. <laughs> uh, I will say that unfortunately this is no longer for sale. It's been sold. So this is going to be just a flip through of uh, the final product. Uh, trust me, I'll make another one. Maybe not exactly, well, probably not exactly like this one. But I love the process of doing this. So um, I definitely will be making more like this one in the future. So... Um, I actually, I have a lot of Maggie Holmes paper. I'm thinking, hmm, maybe I should do a Maggie Holmes. So, uh, this is, uh, just some more Sorry Silk, and it got to be a bit chunky. Here you can see how thick it is. <laughs> um, and I just felt like, um... It just needed a little something to hold it all together. So, uh, I don't know how much the new owner of this will be adding bulk, if any. Um, but... Uh, if they do, then there's a little bit of room to grow. So, all right. So, um, as you can see, I finished the front of this little file, uh, folder thing. And, um, I ended up putting this little clip down here at the bottom, which is working great. So, uh, I just did a really cool collage. I absolutely love this image. Um, and then we got some ruler down here and some of the little flowers, and then open this up and you've got that little pocket here that I had uh, decorated initially and tucked into the pocket. We've just got a couple of little journaling cards. Everything's been coffee or um, tea dyed. I always say coffee dyed and I never do that anymore. <laughs> um, but so just a couple journaling cards in here. Um, and then over here, this is uh removable this way um you could she could um untie this if she wanted to but honestly it's not necessary um and it was a little fiddly to put together that way so um this just full, uh comes out and it's just another pocket um actually a journaling card on the back with some more of the packing paper and then i just did a little collage down here again uh tucked into this one we have um some digital from a digital kit that's been tea dyed and um, a couple more of the pretty ladies so we've got this ballerina uh, this anime Wong <laughs> she's so pretty um, and then this pair here so these ladies just tuck right in and thought if she wanted to use these to decorate her signature her junk journal part of it with um, she could definitely do that. Actually, any of the ephemera, ephemera in here could easily be used for that. Um, flip that over and you've got a nice place for some more writing or you could put um, photos here if you wanted. And then this flips open for yet some more writing space or more photo space if that's the case. So that's the front part. And then that all, obviously, this back piece just tucks right in to this belly band, uh, which ended up being a little bit different from Tanya Samuels' uh, tutorial. She used uh, that to tuck into this pocket, which I have something else in. But um, anyway, long story short, I ended up doing it a little bit differently. And um, we have a belly band here with this lovely lady and not another pocket. It's just, um, it's all glued on there and just another little fun collage. So this opens up and here you have the main part of your of the journal so this is the junk journal portion of it where um, there's just a mixture of different papers and um, it is like a traveler's notebook style where I have the actual signature uh, fastened on its own and then this it can be slid in and out um, with this uh, sorry silk binding there and then here is let's just go through this part so another sorry silk uh, piece of ribbon this is attached um, so it is part of the journal I'm just going to tuck it under here so it's not distracting um, okay so this here we have a belly band again this is a little bit different I think than Tanya, Sam Tanya Samuels' uh, tutorial but we have another really cute uh, little tag tucked here and really, really cute with a couple getting married and then some more journaling space on the back. 
we have a, a tuck spot a pocket here that I left empty um, it was getting a little bit bulky you can open that up and here we have another nice big pocket with another uh, really fun um, collage there and then tucked into that pocket you have this big journaling card um, with a really cute little tab there and like you like the rest of the videos I'll have all the digital kits that I used um, uh, down in the description box below um, okay so then this opens up and <laughs> even more fun so <laughs> did a little collage here um, just of another pretty lady and she opens up and there's a pocket here with a couple of uh, just little tickets and things um, just as some extra paper from another uh, bit of ephemera that is somewhere else in the journal and so again these have all been tea dyed and uh, nice and grungy looking um, and we've got a belly band here let me pull this up so you can see so I just did a little collage there on the belly band um, with some more pretty ladies uh, tuck that back in um, and then in that belly band we've got some more ephemera this is another from that digital kit by Eva the Bohemian craft crafter um, yeah, so those just tuck right in there uh, and then that opens up oh I, <laughs> I forgot to put these back in so uh, you've got uh, a pocket here and um, tucked into that pocket I had uh, some more just copy weight paper from a digital kit so this one is New York City uh, and this one is like a receipt love the colors of that and then this one um, I think is either kind of an advertisement or a receipt of some kind it looks like repairing bells repairing wires adjusting cranks and bells so something along the lines of repairing things there um, and so that just all tucks right in here this just doesn't want to stay open there we go and um, I did at I had planned to uh, cover these but then in the end I forgot and she said don't worry about it so and actually I think me covering them would have been more distracting maybe than having them the way that they are here so I'm, I'm happy with that um, and then okay so in this pocket I'm just gonna shut this so that it's not in the way uh, so this is a pocket that this opens up here and then tucked into this pocket we have yet some more journaling cards so here is a pretty lady on some cardstock this is um, from that vintage ladies another from the vintage ladies and then this one uh, from Eva so just more I think ephemera that she could use in her journal if she wanted to um, and so that's just tucked away there and then here we have yet another pocket and tucked into that pocket is this really pretty little journaling card with this lady down here in the corner <clears throat> excuse, me. <clears throat> excuse me I had a tickle in my throat <laughs> I had to take a quick drink of water um okay so yep down here in the corner is her and then on the back side is some more of the cardstock from this um, paper pad that I use but it's really nice and light so that's a great place for some journaling there okay so then this all closes back up um, over here there and I didn't want to forget there is a pocket over here and tucked into that we have this lovely lady here another big journaling card um, I added a tab uh, so that it's easier to pull in and out and then again backed with some more of that paper from the um, paper pad and really great place for some more journaling if she wants to use it for that or her own photos or whatever she may want to put there um, okay so then this whole thing opens up and here you have some more blank pages for either writing or more photos if that's what she wants to do and then we have a removable little folio here so let me go ahead and untie this set this off to the side and fix that later uh, so here 
Uh, this is a flap that she could add some writing to it or, you know, more photos. Um, and then over here we have a little tuck spot where I've put this little piece of, um, from a digital kit. I just fold it in half and then just did some decoration on the side. So, really fun. I like the expression on that guy's face. It's pretty funny. Um, and then open this up and you've got a really cute little place. If you wanted to take this and put it maybe in your purse or something, you can um, write on these little tags that are tucked in here or tuck in your own little bits of papers. Um, these are all backed with more from the uh, paper pad. Um, so really bright and colorful. I don't know bright. Maybe they're colorful. <laughs> um, but they're all very kind of industrial looking. And then with the floral on the back, I just really, um, I really like how, how that looks, that um, difference there. I mean, maybe not industrial, office-y kind of. Uh, so yeah, so here we go give you a look at those um, and then this is a this is different from Tanya's as well um, I ended up just having these pieces of paper and I thought well instead of leaving this blank let's go ahead and add some fo uh, some pockets there um, and so then in the middle is this really cute little notepad that I put together um, the notepad is uh, fastened up here so actually there is a lot more writing space if you flip this up or she could tear them out if she wanted to um, but it's just different various um, tea dyed papers and some more packing paper and I just varied the heights of each of them and um, ripped them in different heights and so then this is attached um, but it will flip up and out of the way um, and then down here is kind of like a little hidden tuck spot and we've got yet another journaling card there with a uh, just a little bit of um, collage I guess and this one these are both cardstock and then this one is backed with that but some more journaling space here if she wants so that just tucks right down in there and then that just sits nice and snug in that little pocket okay so I showed you the journaling um, thing. Um, I didn't really show. This is held on with eyelets, but from the spine, it's hidden. So you don't, the eyelets didn't actually go through the spine, um, which is, I think, genius. I, Tanya, for figuring this out, <laughs> like I said, I had a lot of fun putting this together. I definitely want to do it again. So all right, so before we get too far into this side, I'm, there is another pocket over here. And so this is uh, the sister of the journaling card on the left side. And so on this one, we've got this lovely ballerina, another little collage kind of thing happening. Got a tab, and then it's backed in the same way um, with that same paper and sewn all the way around the outside. And so that just tucks right down inside there. Okay, so here we have a big envelope, and um, she's able to, oh, let me show you the collage here. Up close, there you go. See what Felicity looks like. Um, and so tucked inside for now, and she may change this if she wants. Uh, we've got this little pocket of, um, it's got uh, this piece of uh, vintage, uh, ephemera from a digital kit uh, so that's just tucked inside nice and grungy I love that um, this one is from Eva's shop which I have down below and then yet another uh, little um, collage there with some fabric on the back and then this is part of the digital and so we've got another lady on the back of that a uh, simple journaling card here ready for a photo or something and some more writing space and then another collage here of a couple lovely ladies um, nice little tag um, I love the these here too and then on the back again some more journaling space um, looks like this is getting distressed already maybe I need to fix that with some 
just add a little bit of gray here there that's a little better okay and so this is just a little tab to help pull it in and out these could be moved anywhere else into the journal if she wants to um, she could put whatever she wants in here it's a nice big pocket which has hinges on the top and bottom so it will expand just a little bit so okay so when you flip this open, then now you get this lovely lady, which I'm sure most of you who have been watching this series remember this one. So just a little collage here, um, uh, and I added this little tab. This flips down, and you've got a little pocket down here. I'm trying to keep all this in frame here. Um, and tucked into that, you have another uh, like postcard from that digital kit. And that just tucks right in there. And then in this pocket, we have this lovely lady um, who just demands your attention. She's just gorgeous. So um, that's another great spot for some journaling. She just goes right there. And then over here, uh, we've got another little folio type envelope kind of doohickey <laughs> that this side uh, flips up and you've got a pocket here and tucked into that pocket is this little tag book with two more journaling cards inside with a couple more lovely ladies and they're both backed with some packing paper um, and then sewn around the perimeter. Uh, so lots of writing space actually on this one if she wanted to use it for that you can write on there. Um, another couple of these journaling cards from Eva's kit, and there you can see their book tea dyed, of course. It's another big pocket, it's been hinged. And then this flips down, and so down here you've got some more writing space if she wants to use it for that, or for more photos if she wants. And then here we have yet another pocket with this journaling card, which I turned into a pocket, so the back side is ready for writing. And then tucked into that pocket, here you can see the background there, tucked into that pocket is this journaling card, where I did some more fun um, collaging, I guess, and added this photo, and it's got a nice little tab of the rulers. So that's really nice, really fun. Um, and that just tucks right back in there. And then another little tuck spot where she can write some more here if she wants. And tucked into that, we've got a couple more pretty ladies. Both have been tea dyed and grunged up. So those just tuck right down in there. And then last but not least, the back of, here, this is getting caught. There we go. The back of the journal is yet another pocket, um, and so of course I had to decorate the back, so um, just did another collage here of the ladies with some sari silk and those um, like burlap flowers from that digital kit, and tucked into that is yet some more. Um, these are cardstock um, from Eva's digital kit, and again tea dyed. So lots and lots of room for writing in here for sure. Um, this is just a really, really fun, special journal, I think. So um, I think she'll have a lot of fun with this one. So uh, I'm excited for her to get it. Um, and yeah, I'll be shipping this out in the next day or probably tomorrow <laughs> um, on Monday. So Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this series, and um, like I said, I plan to uh, make more of these in the future, at least one more. Um, <laughs> I may not do the whole thing in one week. Um, this one did take quite a bit of time uh, to do because it's just, you know, so many different bits and pieces to put together and everything, and then decorating everything, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed um, joining me on this little fun little journey and um, stay tuned for more videos this week. I got a lot of fun things planned, some more uh, collaging in my 
uh, to, well, collaging in my strong quotes journal again. I haven't done that for a week or two. And then a couple more, um, more work in my blue altered book too. So, uh, and then I've always got more things going on beyond that. So, um, I'll probably just turn the camera on whenever I feel like it, um, uh, might be interesting for you guys. And yeah, so I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.